Okay, on the bench today, I got this really cool Breedlove Limited Run uh, Premier Concert. US made, cool cognac burst finish on it. Uh, awesome walnut back and sides. cedar top poor orford cedar top which is really pretty cool cedar you don't see too often uh, today we'll be installing the lr bags element active system it's a great pickup system typically this is actually what comes stock with this but the customer originally ordered this guitar without the electronics and we decided to put some in we'll also be using daddario's new xs strings in a light set so she could go pretty pretty well uh, first step is to take the strings off then we'll have to pull the end pin we'll drill a hole through there remove the saddle we'll drill a small hole through there because this is where the pickup element will be mounted we'll mount controls inside the sound hole and finally the battery compartment yeah let's get to it have been removed. Now let's pop this end pin. Sometimes they pop really easy, sometimes they're a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to work my way around this, kind of releasing the glue. Sometimes they break when we pull them as well. Hopefully this one doesn't. go. So you can see there's a hole in there. Uh, we got to widen that to accept the jack. The hole is just too small so we'll use a little reamer to hand ream it out. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, got my reamer here. Uh, this is like a specific reamer for this exact job. Uh, basically I'll insert it here, ream this out all the way until this stopper and that's exactly what I need the size for the jack to be. Okay, 
And you can see the hole's quite a bit larger. That's the exact diameter I need to accept the jack. Now I'll remove the saddle. That one was in there nice and tight. Now I gotta drill a little hole to accept the pickup element. Perfect. See if we can tell here. It's just a small little, yep, little hole right there. That's where I'll pull the pickup element through. I'll clean up the hole a little bit with this little needle file. We don't want any kind of sharp angles in there. How about these beautiful inlay? Let's see if we can get it to focus. Let's open up this pickup, check out the different components. So, this is the actual pickup element itself, which goes into the preamp section, which consists of the jack and all the components there. And we'll have tone and volume control and attachment for the battery. So we'll lay it out on the guitar and we'll see how it fits and then we'll start installing it. Alright, I like to give myself a general kind of layout, see where all the components are going to gonna be. Usually these come with extra length of wire, so I want to tie some of this back. Maybe like that. Maybe get a couple more zip ties on it. Keep the cables nice and tidy. First I'm going to mount the jack in the end, and then we'll slip the pickup element through the bridge, and we'll mount the tone and volume control, and finally the battery compartment.
this little dowel just helps me guide the jack to the end there. Okay, we're almost perfect right where we need to be. Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. That's great. Also comes with these little wire wire ties, so I'll use those to kind of tie back all the cabling inside. Kind of a guessing game, really. I'm just doing it blind. I've done enough of these though that I kind of know exactly where I want my cabling to go. the adhesive or make the adhesive good here. Both of these. Cool. Just sit and hold it for just a sec here. That way it'll adhere to it. Next step, I'm going to mount this basically like this, but on the back of the instrument, on the inside, so that way the battery compartment's hidden in there. I gotta trim some of this Velcro a little bit though. Side, kind of like that. See that little Velcro patch? That's what the battery compartment or a little battery pouch will hook to. And now, all we gotta do mount this battery.
Okay, and that'll conclude the pickup install portion. Next, it's just to, we need to take a little bit off this saddle since we got the new pickup in there. And then we'll clean the instrument, restring it. Let's see if we can get a maybe some shots of the inside of the guitar. So here I'm going to take off just a little bit of this saddle. That should be it. Time to clean everything and put some new strings on it. I'm going to use a bit of fingerboard conditioner. Not a lot. Just a little bit on a rag here. Okay, yeah, once again I'll be using these Dario XS uh, Phosphor Bronze Strings lights. These are a newer string on the market, but very nice. the rag here to help protect the top from these strings when you're pulling them through you don't want them to like snap across the finish
good. We're going to head into the, our amp room and do the final testing on it. Alright, plug into this Marshall AS50D. Sounds really nice. Balance is very good from string to string. I think the tone is there for whatever style you want. Okay, I think that's that. Um, this job went pretty well. No complications, it was really straightforward. I've done a lot of this pickup install, so I kind of know the pitfalls of doing it correctly or incorrectly. And um, so, yeah, really no issues. Turned out awesome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful guitar. Until next time, see you later. Mm -hmm.